Hello everyone, welcome to whatever the channel is because I'm having a hard time to believe that this is Arsenal trying to make this many deals. Like, I don't know if this is PSG, I don't know if it's Liverpool you're talking about because the kind of transfers we're doing and the, the quickness of which we're trying to do them, I'm really having a hard time to believe this is Arsenal. So anyway, today we will be talking about Gabriel Jesus and Rafinha once again and one of them is done one of them could be done by next week it's going to be very interesting as i always say very very great to see us not doing this kind of business i really did not expect this after after we finished below tottenham and chelsea i thought they were going to get all the players we wanted but right now we've actually had a better window than than liverpool maybe than chelsea and tottenham you've had a better window than those two teams chelsea and tottenham so I really, really cannot wait to see which other deals we're going to do. It's June, by the way. It's June. We're not even in July or August. It's June. Is this really Arsenal? Anyway, um, yesterday it was reported that Gabriel Jesus by David Onstein, Arsenal have reached an agreement with Man City to sign striker Gabriel Jesus for 45 million. Still some bits to sort out, but Arsenal on course to secure a 25-year-old who also had interest from Chelsea and Tottenham at Teta's top target. Now, that is what you always say. If you can actually secure your top target, you're doing really, really good. So they, they go on to say, we usually, before I go to that, we usually don't get our top targets. I remember Hasi Mawa was our top target. Uh, one of the summers, we didn't get him. There's a summer where Suarez was our top target. We didn't get him. We usually fail to get our top targets, and that happens. This time, we've gone for a guy, and we're actually getting him before the end of June. David Unstein goes on to say, um there's still a few things to be done still some bits to sort out before us no i'm um, signing but for those things to be done i can't really see i can't really see us failing to do those things those small things i mean can you imagine us will have agreed a few with man city jesus wants to come to us now he's ateta's top target and then small thing to destroy the deal i don't think so even if they say we don't want 250,000, we want 260,000. I can't see Arsenal saying no because this is our top target and we are doing everything to get him. After agreeing a few with Man City to sell one of their strikers, we cannot fail to do it right now. So I cannot see us um, anything happening for, for that deal not to go through right now. So I definitely expect Gabriel Jesus to be an Arsenal player. So it's 95% done. But being Arsenal and being the new Arsenal, David Austin, the very next tweet, guess which team is talking about once again? Arsenal. This time he says Arsenal to in intensify efforts next week to sign Rafinha from Leeds. More talks planned with 25 year olds camp. Increased offer expected. I mean, guys, is this really Arsenal that we're talking about? Like, this journalists are even talking about Arsenal. Their next week, next week is about Arsenal again. Like, we are definitely not used to this. Um, he says as well, um, feeling among other suitors is Arsenal now leading. He's said to be open to joining them. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, he was open to joining Barcelona. Now, if he's open to joining Arsenal, then that would be massive. Like, Rafinha has been Leeds' best player over the last two years. Jesus has been at City for five years. He's won four Premier League titles. He's had more than 50 goals, more than 40 assists. I think it's like 70 goals or something and 40 assists. Like, these are quality players we are buying. Quality players from Brazil. All Brazilians are usually quality, 90% of them. And we are bringing the, the two that have been playing in the league for the last couple of years and have been doing bits in the league for the last couple of years. This would be massive signings. Let me share a different screen from Rafinha. Here we have it. David Austin writes, Arsenal are set to intensify their efforts to sign winger Rafinha from Leeds United next week. The Athletic understands. Remember that is still in June as well. We'll not even be into July by the time we sign these two players. Further conversations are believed to be scheduled with the 25 year olds representatives as the North London club look, sec look to secure a deal. There is a sense around the situation and among the other teams interested in Rafinha that Arsenal are now firm favourites for its signature. Having already seen one offer rejected by Leeds last week, Arsenal are ready to enhance, uh, enhance their proposal in the hope it brings them closer to an agreement with their Premier League counterparts. There is optimism at the Emirates Stadium that they have maneuvered into a strong position and it is thought that Rafinha is open to the potential move. Now, as a, again, as I said, um, we are battling against the likes of Chelsea and uh, Barcelona and all these teams. But at the moment, it's only Arsenal that actually are going for him. But if we wait for another two weeks, I'm pretty sure other teams will come in for him. He also goes on to say Chelsea and Tottenham have shown interest in the Brazil international, but the former are currently focusing their attention on Man City's winger Ryan Sterling and 
uh, Tottenham are focusing on Richarlison. So those are the two teams that are looking at other players. This is our opportunity. Rafinha has enjoyed two fine seasons since moving to Leeds, scoring 17 Premier League goals in 65 top flight appearances. He definitely has, creates a lot of chances as well. The Athletic reported earlier this month that Leeds are sympathetic to Rafinha's ambition and do not intend to be unfair or ob ob obstructive if the evaluation is met. It is understood that Leeds no longer anticipate Rafinha accepting a new contract, something that appeared to be on the cards midway through the season. And although he has not directly asked for a transfer, it is no secret that he sees himself playing in a European competition. It doesn't have to be Champions League, just any European competition. I mean, his team finished 17th or something. You'd rather be in the team that finished 5th and 17th, right? Rafinha's current lead is due to expire in 2024. Man, what is transfer window already? Like, for me, I thought you were going to go for players. Like, I was hoping we'd go for players like, you know, um other hidden gems like Tommy Asu or Ramsdale and those kind of players but we actually get in the top targets the top players without Champions League football and it's just June we still have to go for Lisandro Martinez there's been talks about Stilimans this summer transfer wind as well what about Zinchenko what about Aaron Hickey it's said to be a really really good transfer window so that's the latest on the two players Rafinha and Jesus Jesus is definitely done i'd say and rafinha we still have to wait and see what what happens next week but i'm confident with that one as well listen as long as the players are brazilian i'm confident about arsenal signing them as long as they are brazilian man <laughs>